Keep your eyes on the stats here, though. That's oh. virtually, virtually another 90 minutes without an attempt on target for England. It turned out that Andy Cole got the only goal-bound effort. So that's one from 180 minutes against Argentina and Scotland. I think, I think we created chances. I mean, I mean that's a chance, even though Alan's great body, body strength there and, and just knocked it wide. But I think if you are creating chances sooner or later, these lads are sticking it. You know, um, I, I didn't think it was a pen. I still can't see the clip there. I see now. See, see how you seen it again, where Beckham has actually made a beeline for the referee, and then Solskjaer sees it and jumps up. You like that one, don't you? Yeah, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Look, look, he can't see him. Nah, nah, he, he can't see him. He's made a run off from here, and I don't think he did I'm, not, I'm not saying him. I'm not saying that one's a lie because he said he clipped him, but I just can't see it. There. I've got to be honest. He doesn't tell lies, anyway. That's a great strike, uh, a lot of pace and power in there, and uh, David deals with it smashing. See, you're talking about not on target. You know, if Shearer's had a goal gets on target, that gets on target, they're possibly goals as well. That's it of inches, aren't they? You know, mm. you've got to be, if you keep on creating them sorts of chances, you know, balls across the box, sooner or later the players of this quality are going to get them, but, you know, it's, we need to get goals to win matches. There are concerns about a number of areas of England's team this morning, the wing-backs, mm. that both were very Attacking, it was attacking man, the it? central defenders, the three in the centre of midfield, and Heskey. Now, did it all work? <laughs> yeah, it came off well, apart from Dyer, I suppose, he was a little bit disappointed. Um, but he couldn't have anything in the game. I think he'd come out with a lot of credit, most of the players anyway. And all credit to Kevin, he stuck by his guns and he was very brave with his decisions. So, um, yeah, I think he can be uh, well pleased with himself tonight. I think he's getting the pitch, you know. I mean, it looks to me as though he's going to go with a three at the back and a five across, you know, because uh, I can't see him um, playing these games before he goes to the European Championships and change in certain way. So it looks as though he's going to go this way. Certainly it, yeah, it does as well. I think so because of the. Uh, and again, we keep saying, and we said before, personnel dictates. Without an out and out left back, then I think we, we must go with the wing back situation. I think Jason Wilcox has got himself no harm at all in that respect, has he? I think, yeah, I think he did well up and down, um, and when it was on for him to stick balls in the box, he did it terrifically well. That's the, that's the only one on target, you're talking about the Andy Cole one there. Do you go the other side with the same type, or do you have a more defensive-minded right wing back? Is it a Neville or a well, I think, I think Philip or yeah, Gary, really? I think it's in, in certain games you look at your opposition. You know, if they've got a strength down that side, maybe a counter that. I mean, you know, you can't... Always go out, especially in international football, and go and go and look at yourself. Sometimes you do look at the opposition, and Kevin will definitely give. Him